Okay guys, welcome back. So let's have a look at SMCI. So SMCI stock today is down pretty big at around um, 817 at the moment. We still have one more hour of market close, 7% uh, give or take. And overall semiconductors, if we take a look at the heat map of the market, they are dragging the market down because half of the S&P 500 is green but since these are large caps so the bigger the square the larger the market capitalization of these names you can see they're all down pretty big nvidia six and a half percent broadcom seven and a half amd almost nine something percent qualcomm eight and a half micron six and a half amet nine percent lamb research nine percent clack eight percent so what I'm watching for SMCI from here. So it's gonna be a very short one. I'm just gonna uh, highlight the levels that I'm watching for this name. So I was watching, last time I made the video, I was talking about this level being as a pivotal resistance level, and I'm not someone who would be long biased unless SMCI clears $1,000 level. We never tested this level uh, for quite some time, actually. Last time we were here, it was around like early June. Uh, and we did reject this level right back and came up to test this uh, 950. That was the resistance I'm, I was watching. Um, and as a support resistance, well, I'm having uh, this uh, basically support trend line, I want to say, because last time we had a pretty flushing move. That was the low. And then we made a higher low, higher low. So are we gonna hold this level and maybe stock will try to push higher? We shall see, but if it does crack below $800 level, uh, I would be watching these support levels. So basically 700 and 650, which is 200 day moving average for SMCI. So if I bring up the moving average, you will see this red line on my chart represents uh, the 200 day moving average. And I was talking about this uh, level for quite some time actually, but uh, stock has been moving in this range of uh, 800 and 950 for quite some time, for two months, maybe three months now. So it was killing a lot of premium. So if you take a look at the option activity for the name, I mean, there's not much going on, but we'll take a look at it. So at the moment, what I want to highlight is five day, 20 day, 50 day stock below all of these moving averages, but still trading inside of that range. So can it hold? Can it just chop around and then try to make its way up? We shall see. Uh, this stock is reporting earnings uh, at the end of July, which is, uh, well, scheduled so far, actually, um, August 6th. So we still have quite some time until then. So the only thing that can move this mark, uh, name I mean, their own earnings and their own guidance going forward, what they're going to say. But we do have, uh, I, do, I did already talk about the TSM, Taiwan Semiconductor reporting tomorrow in the morning. This will impact uh, all the semis. Uh, but quickly, let me mention this uh, for SMCI. Well, you can see this week, pretty big option expiration, July 19th. The in the money puts are more than in the money calls. 30,000 in the money calls versus 26,000 in the money puts. But you can see outside of the money calls, there are a lot of more, but those could be sells and puts and maximum pain $890 level. I don't think we're closing at that level, but very possible because this stock has pretty big, large range anyway. It does not, I mean, even though you see those, I mean, for me, it's unusual to see SMH, let's say semiconductor ETF, to be down pretty big like this in a single day, which is approaching its 50-day moving average as well, which should actually, in an uptrend, act as a support and hover above this level and chop around this level. But SMCI doesn't matter, actually. Whatever SM, uh, I mean, semiconductors do, it just trades with very large range. 57 points is the range and today stock moved 61 points so this means for the past like this is my atr average to range uh, settings for the stock this stock has moved in that range and that was absolutely normal for this name so if it's unusual for overall semiconductor etf but for <clears throat> smh to move that much that's absolutely normal tomorrow it can move up another 60 points up 
or another 60 points down. So pricing in for the rest of the week, 50 points plus minus. Uh, IV is higher for this week. But going into weekend, I mean week, uh, if they're reporting July, I mean August 6th, August 9th week, that week, it is implying that for basically if you are somebody who is trying to uh, trade into that date, well, it is implying 148 points from here up or down going into earnings. So, but I'm watching this name. Ideally, if it does crack these $800 levels, $700 levels, I'll be watching 650, that 200 day moving average, wherever it's going to test it. But again, it's moving average, it's moving up, it's in an uptrend, of course. But I'll be watching this level as a possible uh, bounce trade area. Year to date, stock is outperforming everything out there. Basically, outperforming uh, whatever you want to look at on S&P 500. Of course, even it, it, it join S&P 500 later. But year to date, still this name is 189% po uh, at the moment. So that's the update for SMH, SMCI. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.